We now turn to a problem that is a classic geometry problem on the SAT. And the first thing I want to talk about is that the question says, what is the perimeter of this figure? Now, a lot of students don't deal with the term perimeter very much once they reach high school and higher level math. Perimeter is more of a middle school kind of an idea. And remember, perimeter means you're adding up all of the distance around the figure. A lot of times kids will see the word perimeter and they'll substitute area, which is the amount that's inside of the figure. So we're talking about the outside of the figure. Now the second thing that I want to talk about is that this figure doesn't look like any figure that we know in geometry. We have kind of some weird triangle-like shapes, but we don't actually have a triangle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a dotted line because now what I've done is I've made a couple of recognizable shapes. I've made one large square and I've made a triangle inside of the square. So now I'm going to think about some things that I know in geometry. I know that in a square, opposite sides are equal. So I know that because this side is 6, this side is also going to be 6. I also know that the angles of a square are 90 degrees. So, because this angle is 30 degrees, I know that the angle next to it has to add up to 90 degrees, so it would be 60 degrees. And the same is true of this angle as well. Now, thinking about another rule in geometry, because all of the angles have to add up to 180 degrees, my third angle is also 60 degrees. Now I have something that's called an equilateral triangle. Anytime you have an angle that has all equal angles that are all 60 degrees, that means it also is an equilateral triangle. So that means all of the sides are equal too. So that's giving me a bit of a gift here because I know that this side is 6. Well, because all sides are equal, that means all the other sides of the triangle are going to be 6 as well. So now, remembering the perimeter, I have to add up all of the lengths around the figure. So I'm going to add up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides that are all 6. 5 times 6 would give me 30. So looking at an unfamiliar shape, by making it familiar, and relying on a couple of geometry rules that I know, I've made this problem into a problem that's a lot more simple than it actually appears. I'd be bound.